Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I am from Succulent Babies and I am on also Facebook Succulent Babies. And today I am hoping your day is going well. Today is Friday, looking forward to the weekend. And I wanted to share with you what I have Succulent Identification Series on my Facebook group if you would like to join. Today we did this one which is called Marimilla Gracilis Phallus and this is a thimble cactus. Thimble cactus is its nickname. Okay, as you can see, it's thimble. They're very tiny little tiny ones, as you can see. So the description of this thimble cactus is um, a substantial is a mammalia vitrol subscratius glossus. And I, I do speak Spanish, and it's from Mexico. Okay, so it's a somewhat small cactus. It's somewhat slender, cynically bright green body, if you can see clustering and it branches freely. I also have one up here. Uh, the offsets are easily detached. So as you can see, some of that has actually occurred. And so you have to be careful that they don't fall off. And so they're basically really tiny little spears here. They're so easily knocked off that they must be handled with care. However, the offsets cr quickly will root back down into the, to the soil if placed on the ground. So the tubercles are roundish and each being tipped by some stiff white spines as you can see. And I'm trying to get as close as I can, keeping it in focus for you. Okay, so they're kind of like, like a little star shape on on there radiating like a star uh there's stiff white spines making the plant look like they're kind of like lace lace covered how cool is that i think that's awesome i'm so in love with this plant right now this cactus i am so in love with it okay so the tubercles are roundish and uh, being that they're they're, they're laced like this um there's some more they're one or more longer dark ones um with spines and that would be right there those spines and those spines are dark brown as you can see and they really really are very very hard okay so this is creamy white, if I'm describing it correctly to you, as you can see. Uh, Bell-shaped flowers appear, which is like, yeah, there they are. Oh, I was so excited when I saw that. And there's more coming, as you can see. There's one coming from right there and over here. Okay. And they appear only in spring or late summer autumn. And that's where we're at right now. Because as you know, this is the beginning of October. The end of summer was last month. And so fall has begun. And fall is originally originated as autumn. Okay? Autumn in Los Angeles. It's really kind of cool. <laughs> it's cooled down a lot first uh, rain that we had was yesterday not really too much of a rain more like a sprinkle but um taught us a lesson that we could get rained on so if you're in los angeles i'm not trying to be funny about it but yeah that well, the, well, was out rain i guess that was Okay, so, okay, the grass is, has about 11 to 16 radials, and they often lack uh, central spines, so the flowers are, le are less than 12 millimeters long, and I kind of, like, measured it myself because I'm like, I want to make sure of that. So the stems of them, let's talk about the stems. As you can tell from the big one right here, she's a good example for us. And her principal stem is about 13 centimeters uh, long, which it's three centimeters across. And I basically took my measurement thing and I figured that that's exactly, um, she's actually, um, she is a offset of the mother plant. Now let's talk about the mother plant compared to the offsets. The mother plant is this one. And these are her offsets. Now they all start like this down below and then they form a little bigger one in the middle that becomes the mother plant, okay? As you can tell from this one, she's got one in the middle and then her babies are on the side, okay? As you can see from this one, that will be the mother plant and that is her baby. Do you see it? How cool. Let's talk about her. The mother plant is the one with the flowers. The offsets are all around her. She's got a big family. 
Now, the thing is about these is the central spines are like bristol like they're they're white to dark brown. Um my mine appear, excuse me, to be a little bit darker on this one. And the age of this plant is a, is a lot older than the age of this plant. This plant then has like these white ones, which is totally described correctly. Okay? So radial sp sp spines are about 11 to 16, okay, or maybe 17 altogether in total. And I'm not going to count them for you by letting them pinch my finger. Uh-uh, that ain't happening. Your girl does not touch a cactus. <laughs> Be careful. I'm not trying to make a joke of that. If you do touch this plant, please wear gloves. And uh, I will definitely not be touching it today with my hands. Because you don't see them, but they're, they, they're there, okay? And they're just waiting for you to touch them. <laughs> nope, don't do it, okay? It's not even funny. Don't do it. Okay, so the flowers are creamy white. And that is totally how pretty it is, okay? And so let's talk about the fruits. Do they bear fruit? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They bear fruit, and that fruit would be red. Uh, okay, so like I told you, they come from Mexico, uh, central Mexico, Hidalago, okay? And uh, mucho, 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 mucho. There are so many of these growing in Mexico. I'm going to be going on a trip, and I would love to show you those. I will bring back more pictures to my YouTube channel. Seeds. If they do seed, they will be black. Okay. Have I ever had seeds from these? Not quite yet, so I'm still waiting for that to happen. Okay. So sometimes these pots will come in like a 3 or a 0.5 or a 4 inch container when you purchase them. At the time that you purchase them, they might not be blooming, uh, but you should be careful that uh, you don't break them off. Like they said, they do break off very easily and then they separate from the plant, but they do root back into uh, the soil. So if you do break one off, just put it back in to the pot. Okay, let's talk about the USDA um, hardiness zone on uh, 9 to 10. Yay! Okay, so how much temperature does it require? Well, between sunset, between 8 to 24. Now, you talk to me about sunset. Why do I say that? Uh, because during the night, the temperatures cannot fall below 50 degrees. And uh, I've been in the nursery department for a long, long time. Never let them get as cold as, you know, 50. 50 is really, really cutting it close when it comes to these kind of cactus. Temperatures minimum average should be 50. If you go anything you know below that, you're going to end up with a plant that does not survive. Okay, so uh, frost tolerance. <clears throat> if I talk about the USDA zone, and let's step over into Phoenix, Arizona, where they grow uh, in the Arizona um, environment, the desert the sand, the hills, the mountains, uh, that zone, the frost tolerance can go up to 14 Fahrenheit, as low, I'm sorry, not as high, as, as low as 14 Fahrenheit, minus 10 Celsius, okay, totally cool, okay, so on Succulent Babies, on my Facebook group, I do have a raffle going on, and I am going to be purchasing some Planet Desert gift cards. Now, some of you might not be aware that Planet Desert does have a lot of collections of plants, of succulents, and, well, excuse me, not succulents, but of, of cactus. Their collections are really amazing. Some of their collections have like 642 items of plants. Okay, so I'm going to be purchasing gift cards and we're going to do a raffle on my Facebook group, Succulent Babies. I also have created a Succulent Babies Society group if you would like to join. It's $20 for the year. You receive a free t-shirt, free plants, free seeds. I do an online format with the society. Uh, you don't have to come to uh, any location i bring it all to you online and we go to a lot of nurseries and we do a lot of research uh on everything that possibly could have any kind of you know uh interest to others i have testimonies i have uh, uh, people sharing their thoughts on my online uh society group uh we have the plant of the month we have our guest speaker going to be deborah lee baldwin on october 13th so yeah please join succulent babies 
Society Group on Facebook and also Succulent Babies on Facebook. And then you're here. YouTube channel is Succulent Babies. So please subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. It's been really fun talking to you guys about Thimble Cactus and her beauty. Take care, Al.